Hi guys, my name's Idge. Uh, I'm a very good friend of Bren's. Uh, I've been training for a very long time now and I'll be here to just answer any questions, give you a bit of analysis and help you guys along the way. So um, the market's pretty quiet for me today. I pretty much like a very strong trending market where we have some big moves happening, but that hasn't been happening much. We've not had great cyclicity. So what I thought I'd do is I'd do a quick intro video as to how I would analyse a market and the things I look for. So uh, I've just picked Euro USD to start with and you'll notice I've got three moving averages on there. So I use the 20, 50 and 200. I also like to keep an eye on the RSI and stochastic. So if we're identifying a strong trend, they need to be in order. So my blue is 20, my red is 50, the green is 200. All need to be in, in the right order and going the direction we want to go, price trading above or below. The RSI stochastic needs to be pointing in the direction that we want to go. And usually I like price interacting with a 20 MA. Reason being is when price moves away from a move on average, it always reverts back to mean before going in the direction we want it to. So right now we have got a strong bullish bar closing above the 20 MA. So I always wait for the bar to close. This is the hourly chart where I pre prefer to execute my trades. So if I can see something setting up on the hourly chart, what I like to do is then look at a top down analysis. So I start with the daily and look at any potential areas of resistance. So we can see that the RSI is overbought and it's approaching the 200 moving average. And there's this soft level of resistance here on Euro USD. Now, the US dollar has been particularly weak the last few days. So am I convinced I'm wanting to buy this? I, I don't really know. Not in this zone. Uh, very close to a 200 moving average. It's it's a bit of a funny place to buy. Very overbought. I'm not a comfortable buyer of Euro USD at the moment. If we drop down to the four hour again, we can see that level of resistance there as well. Very overbought on the RSI. Yes, it may have a few pips in it, but I like high probability trades, and I don't want to take the risk of entering this trade to just give away money. So although it looks good and potentially bullish on this particular time frame, it's not something I would want to enter in the places at the moment. There's better trades with better risk to reward. Now, one of the key things I find in my trading is patience and waiting for the best setups. I would rather take five or six trades a week, but I find good, strong trades, good winners that are two to one, three to one, four to one, as opposed to trying to nick five or ten pips here and there just to try and get, make, make the numbers up. So more about quality over quantity, guys. So hopefully that's give you an insight into how I would look at the market. Any questions, please shoot them across and I'll hopefully talk to you soon. Thank you.